Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out you guys' solar systems. So we're actually um, doing um, a second solar system that one of you guys made. So if you remember, if you've seen episode 2 of this series, you remember I checked out a solar system called the Z system. It was made by, um, um, what was it, Nathan Universe, that's it, I'm just checking the things here. So yeah, it was made by also his other account called Astro Photos and Videos. So Nathan Universe, I believe is also his name, so... Yep, yeah, we're checking out another simulation of his today. So, last time it was the Z system, but as he says in his comment, he says, here's the complete and much more better brother of the Z system, the core system. So, we're going to be checking out his core system today. So, C-O-R, so it's right there, and we can already tell it's got a pink background. So, yeah, there is that. But before we begin, guys, we're closing on 2,000, what is it, 2,400 subs now? Like, I'm losing track. It's just too many numbers. Uh, let me check here. Yeah, I believe we're closing on 2,400 subscribers. So let's see if we can try and hit that before the end of the weekend, because that would be awesome. So if you haven't already, can subscribe. Blah, 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 consider subscribing. Hopefully you won't regret it. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're only um, 25 subscribers away. So let's see if we can try and get that this weekend, because that would be amazing. So, yeah, there's that. But anyways, enough of me rambling. Let's get into this. So, the core system. So let's go into here. Ooh, this background's pretty cool. It reminds me of the pink atmosphere sort of colour, so... Right, ooh, okay, that's how big is this guy then, so, orbits. Okay, we've got a lot of planets to look through here, okay. So, here, let's um, check out the star to begin with like we usually do. So, we've got Core AS1, so a lot of letters. So, we've got the core. Okay, so, mass of 1.4 suns. Its radius looks about mm, similar to Sirius, I'd say. Let's just get a comparison here with the sun. Yes, there's the sun. So, it's, this is very bright with this background. So, there's the sun there. And then Sirius will get you. So, yeah, similar size to Sirius. So, yeah, there we go, there's that. Right, so there's our star. Luminosity of 3.65. So let's just quickly check the Happel zone here. And there you go. So there's that. Anyways, so there's that. First planet. Okay, so we've got Core BR1. Okay, so here is this. So there we go. It's um, similar to Mercury. Sort of Mercury. Sort of um, sort of Mercury-themed planet here. We've got similar mass, similar radius. Temperatures also similar, but it's uh, more of a... Um, generic looking um, colour than Mercury, because Mercury is more of a brown colour as you know, but yeah, this is more of a grey looking colour. I like um, the background also making like a pink effect on the shadow. If you look um, here, you can see that on the dark side it glows pink a bit. That's due to the um, background colour, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there's that. So there's our first object. If we um, zoom out here, yeah, there's that. Okay, so we've got next. So now we've got Core CR2. So there's BR and then CR. Okay, does that mean gas giant maybe? I don't know, it's just... Oh, these, these combinations of letters, hmm, I don't really know what they mean, if you, let, please let me know what these mean, but, so we've got BR1, no, that's AS1, hmm, BR1, CR1, I really don't know <laughs> what these mean, yeah, let me know, because that'd be pretty cool, so yeah, there's that, so we've got another, um, rocket mount, this guy's actually larger than Earth, so this is a lot larger than the previous objects, also got more mass, as you can see there, composition as well, it's just, um, iron and silicate, Probably the same with the first object. Yeah, it is. Mostly iron, this one, though. Yeah, so there's that. So there's our second planet. Um, let's see. Let's actually take the day and night time. Is that? So 357 days. This one is a uh, 2.56. Okay. All right, so third planet here. Oh, 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 I just saw that. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, so let's go here. All right, let's see what we got. Na National Telescope. Okay, so this is obviously going to be a populated planet, I'm assuming, then. So Core CR3. Oh, this is, this is quite a nice color, I've got to say. This is cool. So, ooh, there's some interesting colours. I don't really do um, these colours in my custom objects. So it's like a cream sort of desert sort of colour. Tan, tan colour, maybe? Is that what? No, no, it's more of a desert-y sort of colour. Yeah, there's that. Okay, cool. I really love the um, green surface with the blue atmosphere. That looks that looks really cool. I like that. Yeah, that's a thumbs up from me. That, that's that's cool. So, 2.35 AU away. Its temperature is about 11 degrees. So, that's somewhere I'd rather live. Nice and cool. Albedo only, one, only reflects 1% 1 of light. So... This reflects a lot. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, sorry. It um, absorbs a lot, I should say. Only reflects 1%. So, yeah, this guy this guy reflects a lot of light. Oh, no. So, it absorbs. Oh, God. I'm getting all mixed up. My brain's all broken today. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Albedo is how much light it reflects. So, this only reflects 1% of the light. So, yeah. That's a lot. And then we've got a telescope. Hey, this is the... Um, what's this? This is the Pluto probe, isn't it? This is um, little, uh, New Horizons, isn't it? The pink background makes it look like a different colour. But yeah, there's um, New Horizons, I believe. So let me just... um, Yeah, it is. New Horizons. There you go. 
So there's that. So that's pretty cool. That's a very cool feature. That's the first custom solar system with a te like with a um, spacecraft in it. A man-made object there. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so then we have one moon also on a slightly different shaped orbit than the regular oval shape. So, ooh, this looks good. Ooh, I like that colour scheme as well with the red. Or like the light red there. That, that's pretty cool. So there's that. Let's actually get a surface view. I think this um, deserves it. So let's get, a, let's get a look here. So where's our moon? Is it down there? Oh, well, there's the telescope. Where's the moon? There it is. So oh, we could get an eclipse going on here. Let's have a look. Any eclipse? Nah, it doesn't look like it. But yeah, there's our moon. So let's have a look there. A little larger than the Earth's moon in the night sky, it looks like. So yeah, there is that. Let's actually get a look at it from behind. Whoa, that's a lot of spins. So let's land uh, here and then pause and wait for it to come around. Okay, here we go. And this has a um, 3.89 day cycle. So yeah, three times, almost four times longer than Earth. Okay, so let's see here. Come on, moon, appear before the planet rolls around. Come on. No. Moon, please. All right, we're going to have to go around again. Okay, so let's just um, go here. There we go. All right, where's our moon at? Okay, there it is. So you can see it there. So if we just disable all of this quickly, there's the moon. So you can see it um, quite nicely in the sky there. So that's looking good. Yeah, so there you go. And it's all just shadowed out, as you can see. So that was a lunar eclipse, I believe. So yeah, there's that. So yeah, there is the... Um, Core CR3 and its moon, um, Alet. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't even pronounce. Aletus, Aleta. I think Aleta, Aletus. I think that's how you say it. I'm so sorry if I'm scrapping that name. I'm so <laughs> All right. Anyways, next object here. Ooh, ooh. I've clicked on another. That looks like a Voyager probe. But um, let's um. Okay, so we've got Core DG1 now. Okay, so this is a gas giant, and that probe looks really cool. So, ooh, it's like a green white color theme there. Okay, that's cool. So Core DG1. Similar size to, um, well, actually bigger than Uranus, actually. Let's get a quick comparison. There's Uranus. So a little bigger than Uranus. And it's got some interesting moons around it. So we've got a pretty good gas giant colour there. Oh, and this one looks good. Oh, I like that. The black and the orange. That looks really cool. So Corda. Corda. So, yeah, there's that. So a little larger than Mercury as well, it looks like. And then a little smaller, sorry, actually. No, no, Mercury's 2,000, not 1,000. So, yeah, this is 1,800. Mercury's 2,004. Or 2,400, yeah. So, there's Corda. I like the orange and black. That's cool. Um, let's see what we've got here next. Core DB. It's also interesting colours. I really like the colour schemes going on here. This is this is pretty cool. So, there is that. So, some check temperatures. It's cold here. 104 day rotational period. And then there's its um, composition there. Okay, what we got next? So, we've got Core, core DC now. Oh, and the red and white looks really cool. That reminds me of the planet from The Last Jedi, if you've seen Star Wars The Last Jedi. Sort of reminds me of that, the blue and or the white and the red, sorry. Yeah, there's that, so that's looking good. The, yeah, the red looks really good with the white, and if you want to see it without the atmosphere, yeah, the, it looks definitely better with the atmosphere, if, I, if you ask me. So, yeah, there's that. I, that's, that's definitely one of my favourites I've seen so far. Okay, now we've got Core DD. So this one doesn't have an atmosphere. So there's that. Uh, there's a difference between those two as well. There, so there's that. So minus 114, more of a green sort of pale green sort of colour there. So there's that. There's its composition. Temperature is obviously cold. And day cycle, 263 days. Similar to Venus, I think that is. All right, so there is that. Okay, now we've got core... A a a I think it's just called core AAC. Let's call it that. So this is a, um asteroid, so not really much to do here. As you can see, it's just an asteroid. I really hope they update asteroid textures one day so they have, like, craters and stuff because that would look really cool. There's our gas giant. So, quite a nice view of the gas giant there, actually. So, that's good. Uh, who's next? So, okay, so now it's core AAB. So, just more little uh, minor asteroids, as you can see here. Then the last thing around here... Oh, no, 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 they've got this one as well. So, then we've got core ABC. So, also another similar um, object to the size, radius, and all that. And then, then we've got the... Oh, is that... Is this Juno? I think that's a Juno spacecraft. I think Not a Voyager, sorry. I think that's a Juno so, very cold here, as you can see. So, yeah, there's Juno, I believe. So let's actually just quickly check. I think that's Juno. Where's Juno here? It's definitely not Voyager, was it? Oh, that's Cassini. Ah, oh, it's Cassini. Ah, oh, no, no, Juno is that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being really silly today. Oh, yeah, I'm a little tired, but yeah. Yeah, a little tired. But yeah, this um is nowhere near this similar to Juno at all. So, that was a bit of a fail on my part. So, apologies for that if anyone got upset. So, yeah, that is a... Cassini probe. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so what we got next? Also on a quite a strange orbit around the planet as well. It's got more of a unique orbit there, so that's cool. Okay, so what we got next? 
Core ER4. And this looks like it was based off of Earth. I can tell by the trail. Yep, has a climate mode. Yeah, so that was an Earth originally. So let's see what we've got here. So it's got the normal blue atmosphere. The, the only way you can get this coloured blue is um, by making an Earth. Unless you mod the game, of course. So yeah, there's that. So we've got a pink sort of colour surface here. It's got climate mode enabled. It's nine, 9 degrees, so it's warm enough possibly it's got a little bit of water as you can see not really enough to appear on the surface sadly so yeah no life likelihood though i guess there's not enough water for the oxygen to really work here so yeah, that's kind of sucks so this probably wouldn't be a breathable atmosphere i'm assuming and there's its composition as well so yeah there you go there's core er4 so does this guy have any moons nope just a lone planet sadly so there's that All right now we've got core fg2 so another gas giant so let's go here. Ooh, okay. So, ooh, interesting colour gas giant. Like a grey and blue colour there. Then we've got Core Fat, so another moon. So, a lot of moons with atmospheres. This is cool. Oh, that's a really nice view of the gas giant there as well. Look at that. Let's just get a, let's get a view of that. That looks cool. So, there you go. Oh, that's a nice view, actually. That's cool. Look at that. Maybe I'll use it for a thumbnail. Maybe. I don't know. That looks that looks look pretty cool. I like that. That's a, that's a nice view. Maybe I can try and get a few moons in the thumbnail. That would be really cool. So... Here we've got Core FB, so another similar, um, oh, a lot smaller though, a little bigger than Mimus and Enceladus as well, this guy. So it's a very, very small um, guy here, as you can see there. There's Teffy's um, Mimus, there we go. So a little bigger than Mimus and Enceladus again, so definitely a very small object, this. So Core FB, then we've got Core F Moonrate, there's Juno, that's a Juno spacecraft. So yeah, there you go. So if we zoom in here, there's a good look at it. So yeah, space car. I really like the intro or the introduction of space cars. Oh, and this one's spinning as well. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, that is that's awesome. I like that. So Core F Moon X Ray. That's that's cool. I really like all the names for these as well. That's awesome. Okay, what we got next? Okay, last object. So we've got Core M1. So this is just a tiny little um, asteroid here. So as you can see. Oh, it has a moon! Whoa, look how close the moon is to it. Wow, they are really close. Look how quick they're spinning as well. 18 minute daytime, or 18 minute rotational period, sorry. So there's that, 34 minutes. Look at this. That's pretty cool, I like that. So these guys probably just got chucked out of the solar system by one of the other objects. They are the furthest object out by quite a long distance, as you can see here. So overall, they are, let's see here, 42 AU away. So it's definitely further than Neptune is to Mouse Sun. So yeah, these guys are pretty far away. So then we've got um, obviously the spacecraft again. Okay, so yeah, that is it for the core system. So tell me, what do you guys think? Do you like this one more or do you like the solar or the Z system from Apso 2? So if you remember this system, it was this one here. So, yeah, so if you haven't seen that episode, I recommend you check it out. But you think the Z system or the core system is better? Let, let us know down below. So I'm pretty sure um, Nathan Universe, who created this, also probably wants to know or wants to hear you guys' opinion, I'm assuming. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe he want to know as well. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, which one of his solar systems do you guys think is better? Yeah, let me know in the comments. So, yeah, if you haven't seen episode 2, I recommend you check it out to get a full, like, look at this solar system as well. But there's a quick overview of it all there. So, yeah, which one of these do you think is better? The Z system or the core system? I think that's how you'd say it. So, yeah, I'm really sorry if anything was pronounced wrong as well today. But as you know, my pronunciation ain't the best. But, <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, there's the core system. So, overall... Pretty cool. I, I I like this. This was good, especially all of these color schemes. Though, I really this is this one here is definitely my favorite. I have to say I really like the um, color scheme on that. Then this one here. This this is, comes in a close second. I have to say, and then third place I probably say is this one here. I really love the red the red mixing with other colors. I think red looks really cool on objects. But yeah, this one here that literally looks like the planet from the Last Jedi. Like I I think yeah. That, that is definitely the second best, but this this is my favourite one, I have to say. So, yeah, there we go. So, there's all the core systems. So, yeah, tell me what you guys thought. Is it better than the Z system or not? Interest to hear what you think of that. So, yeah, there we go for today's episode of checking out your guys' solar systems. So, yeah, I'll leave um, a link to um, the creator's channel. So, that's Nathan Universe again. Um, yeah, thanks for sending the solar system in as well. And if you guys got any simulations, then feel free to send them in as well. So, if I just um, let me quickly go on my channel here. Okay. So let me just go on here, um, pause the video so I don't have to listen to myself. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so um, let's go here. Yeah, so yeah, special thanks to um, Nathan Universe again and, and his other account, um, Astro Photos and Videos. I'd, I'll, I'll leave a link to um, Nathan Universe. I think that's his main channel though. So yeah, thanks to him for sending that in. So yeah, there we go. There is the core system. So 
yeah, that's everything. So, yeah, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe. Helps on the journey to 2,400 subscribers, because that'll be awesome. And, yeah, make sure you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.